See how they're doing when they move up the ladder to Biloxi with uh, Garrett. Fly ball, deep center field. Howell is back, and that ball is going to go. It's another home run, and it's the first professional home run for Spencer Torkelson, and it's a 7-5 game. That was a deep home run over the center field wall, and that is the seventh home run in four games for the Whitecaps. And that Rattler lead is back down to two. The number one overall pick. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a high fly ball hit deep in the air. Left center field. Nova is back looking up, and it's over and gone. The first West Michigan home run for Spencer Torkelson at LMCU Ballpark. And it was a no-doubter. The Whitecaps take a 7-5 lead here in the sixth. Thing of beauty from the number one overall pick. Is ready. Here's the set, now the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a high fly ball, hit deep to left field again. Nova is back, looking up. It's off the old manual scoreboard. It's over and gone. It's a party here in West Michigan. The second three-run home run of the ball game for the number one overall pick. And as soon as Torkelson had that foul ball on his last pitch, you could almost... 2-1. Cracked deep to center field. Pajes goes back on the track. He looks up. It's on the berm. And the Tiger fans in attendance get what they came for tonight. A solo blast in the first inning for Spencer Torkelson. one nothing Whitecaps in the first. Hang on to that ball. That thing was corked. A couple of young kids out there looked like they ran over and grabbed it. Right in front of the Arbor V-Day out there in front of the batter's eye. It was almost 450. Wow. 442. Wow. This is a living reminder how important patience is. Like this fly ball to deep center field. Back goes Peralta. Looking up. It's over and gone. A torque tank here in West Michigan. Eight to four Whitecaps on a rocket to dead center field. Well, if you were waiting for a moment for the number one overall pick, you just got one. The entire Whitecaps team is out of the dugout, greeting him on his way back. Lefty deals one, two. Torkelson drives one out to deep left field. That ball's up and that ball's gone. Touch them all time. Spencer Torkelson, his first double-A home run, gives Erie a two-run lead here in the eighth inning. That ball got up and got out in a hurry. So a two-out, two-run home run for Torkelson. His first double-A long ball gives Erie its first lead of the night. That was just a laser beam off the wall. 2-2 pitch, Torkelson drives one deep to right field, going back as Mitchell at the warning track, at the wall, and that ball is gone. Touch them all time, Spencer Torkelson. That's his second home run of the year. And Erie takes a 3-2 lead here in the bottom of the third inning. Set. And the 2-0. High fly ball hit well to left field. Benson going back at the wall, and this is gone. A two-run homer for Spencer Torkelson, and after two batters in game two, it's Erie up two to nothing. So the Seawolves grab their first lead. One ERA, 3-2 runner takes off. Torkelson cracks one deep left center. Landon looking up, that ball's crushed and gone. Touch of all time, Spencer Torkelson, a laser beam over the wall in left center. 
That's his fourth home run, and the Seawolves out to a 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Well, he worked ahead in the count, got a pitch up, and he hammered it out. 25-year-old right-hander drafted in the 31st round, and Torkelson crushes one out to right for a solo home run. Fifth this season for Torque. That gets Erie back into it. It's 5-3. The Detroit Tigers last year, he attacks the first pitch and skies this one to deep center. Beltray to the warning track, and that one is long, long gone. Over the batter's eye in straightaway center field. Spencer Torkelson unloads one for his sixth home run of the season, and it's the Seawolves striking first, 1 0 Erie. Well, Mark, you said it, uh, I think it was before game one, that Torkelson carried an 80 grade power, and that's the highest it can go. Gray pants, black hat with a black brim for the Seawolves. 2 1 to Torkelson, a drive deep to left field, forget it. Spencer Torkelson, a no doubter. Out to left, and it's 2-0 Seawolves on the seventh home run of the year for Torkelson here in the top of the first. Well, just such a smooth swing. Looked like a breaking ball that was kind of diving down in the zone, and Wisniewski's been going to that a lot early in this one. Tork was ready for it, and he did not miss. And the pitch is hit high in the air by Torkelson in a deep left, and this one's way gone. Living up to the hype, this one's over the Excelsior sign in left center field. A no downer puts the Seawolves on the board. They're ahead one to nothing. Abado Stadium, just a matter of when it was going to come down as Beatty and Mangum just gave it a look. Burger King came in, catcher, number 15, Dylan Dingler. Sir Torkelson steps up and the pitch. Torkelson launches it. Left field, way back is Cortez, and this ball is gone. Second homer of the series for Torkelson. And it puts Erie up two to nothing. Second Brian is spelled B-R-A-Y-A-N. This one swung on a hammer, deep left field, roller going back, looking up. That ball is gone. Touch them all time, Spencer Torkelson, number 10. And Erie takes a one to nothing lead with two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Torkelson, his first RBI of the series, and Erie jumps ahead. And the 2-0, and that is hit deep to left, and that one is gone. A line drive off the ribbon board in left field. And Spencer Torkelson has given the Erie Seawolves a 2-0 lead. The pitch was right down the middle. It went 386 feet and had an exit were approximately 386 feet and an exit speed of 105 miles an hour. Set at the belt, looks at second, deals 3-2. Torkelson swings, sends one out to deep center field. Frazier on the run, at the warning track, at the wall. That ball's gone. Touch of all time, Spencer Torkelson. That's number 12, and he gives the Seawolves a 2-0 lead here in the first inning. That's another first inning home run for Torkelson, more specifically. He's got now eight of them just in this first inning alone. Breaks a tie with Joe Adele in the Angels organization for the most first inning home runs this season in all of the minors. 2-0. This one launched out towards center field. Frazier's back to the wall. Three in a row. Spencer Torkelson joins in. It's 3-0 Erie. Torkelson's 13th this season. His second today. Here's the 1-1. Swinging a shot out toward left field. Another one for Spencer Torkelson. A solo home run for his second of the day. His second multi-home run game of the season. Seawolves up 4-0. Torkelson cannot be stopped right now. 
Seven consecutive plate appearances with a base hit. Three home runs. Four runs scored. And a drive left field, fairly deep. Is it high enough? It is gone. He's got his first home run as a mudhead. He was waiting, and he's got the power. That ball wasn't hit that high, and it's still third the wall. Make it four to two, and Spencer gets his first triple-A home run. Although, you know, this is a tougher level. Man, I'll tell you what, there's the power because it wasn't hit that high, and it still got out. Right over the uh, Mike Kessman home run alley sign. And a fly ball, right center, fairly deep. Back goes Celestino, looking up, and it is gone! Holy Toledo, the Mud Hens have tied the game on Spencer Torkelson's second. Triple A home run, it's an 8-8 ball game. Kalish fires in. Breaking ball crushed deep to left field. Blanco drifts back, looks up toward the scoreboard. That's gone over the berm. A two-run homer for Spencer Torkelson. The 1-1. One -one. Torkelson punches it deep to left field. Blanco drifts back at the track, looks up at the fence. That ball's gone. Another one for Spencer Torkelson. His second home run of the game extends the Mud Hens lead in the top of the sixth. It's three to one Toledo. Fires from Santa Barbara. The pitch. Crush to deep right center field. Martin sprints back onto the track, angles toward the fence, looks up, it's onto the berm. A game-tying home run for Spencer Torkelson. He goes deep to the opposite field, and our ball game's tied at four in the top of the eighth at Warner Park. One-two pitch. Crushed deep to center field. Isbell looks up, that ball's gone onto the berm. Spencer Torkelson blasts one, and it's now 10-6 to six Toledo. Their sixth home run of the ball game. The lead of the Tigers, then Erie, now here, pitch. That's hit well to center. Long run going back to Nashree Vargas. Looks up, it is gone. Spencer Torkelson lives up to the hype. Number four prospect in minor league baseball. Second at bat here in Principal Park. He leaves the yard. Solo shot. It's two to one Toledo here in the third. That ball got out in a hurry. That was a 410 foot line drive. Baseball game and let your dog run around. Torkelson swings on a 1 0 pitch. A fly ball deep to center. Cedrola back. It's gone. Way out of here to straightaway center field. Home run, Spencer Torkelson, his eighth with Toledo. Makes it an 8-3 Louisville lead. 0-2 to Torkelson. There's a swing and a fly ball, hit well to right. Back is the right fielder, Lee turns around and it's gone. On to the Humana Cabana, three-run homer for Spencer Torkelson. The Mud Hens off the mat here in the seventh to take a 5-3 lead. Torkelson's ninth homer with the Hens in his third hit today. Big time bats walk off win. Here's a swing and a high fly ball deep to left. Crook doesn't see it, hooking toward the corner and it's gone into the seats. Home run, Spencer Torkelson. He's homer now in three straight games. This one a two-run shot, his 10th of the year with Toledo, and two batters in. The Mud Hens have a 2-0 lead. I like that. I don't know why I haven't left used that Left-hander word. delivers. That oh. one hit high in the air. Way to left it goes. They'll look oh. up, and it is gone. We are tied at four. Torkelson and Clemens go back to back. 417, 417 feet on that home run. First guy out of the dugout to congratulate him was Cody Clemens. After he left the yard, Torkelson follows suit. 